Hello everyone, I would like to start this video which will be an introduction to a series of videos that I want to make about uh, being an international MLT here in Canada and the whole process of how to start it and um, how to start the immigration process um, by yourself and then uh, finally becoming an MLT. If you have already started the process of immigration, then that's great. And if you have already started the process um, of becoming a certified MLT here in Canada, then that's great too. But you can still stay tuned for what to expect uh, once you become, a, become an MLT here and for a few tips on how to study for the uh, Canadian um, certification exam. So now this will be an introduction, meaning that um, I'll be talking a bit about what it means to be um, certified here as an MLT. So being certified means that you have passed um, the Canadian Society for Medical Laboratory Science exam, which is a CSMLS exam, as an MLT. And once you pass that, you have been certified then you also need uh, a license from the province that you are living in and that these two things is what you need to be um, so that you can actually legally work here in Canada. So now if you haven't started the process can be lengthy and we can go through this together although the, all the information that you need can be found on the CSMS website but I know that it can be quite uh, a lot of information to take in and somehow some people don't know where to start. I myself have a lot of uh, friends that are already MLTs are still doing the process. Some that have finished and some that have come here wanting to do it but have finally abandoned because they think that um, they might be already in a job and they are okay with that. Some don't want to start because it means starting from zero and uh, some just find it just a too lengthy process. But um, I'm here to tell you that if you take it in a systematic and step-by-step -step way, it can be done within a year or two if um, uh, you are really motivated. Now you can tell me that one or two years while well, you're like, oh wow, that is quite long. But you, if, if you want a quick answer, if you want a quick um, thing, this is not going to happen. It is a lengthy, lengthy process in itself unless you have already done all your papers back home and you're just coming here for the exam, then that's going to be a quick um, thing for you. But if you haven't, then there, you, you have to start somewhere and it's going to take you like around a year or two. For me, the whole process took around a year because I did everything from back home. And once I came here, I just had to do the exam. And that in itself took around a year with all the immigration process. So just to tell you that it does take quite a bit of time. So you better start now if you really want to be an MLT here. So what does it mean um, to start the process? It means um, if the immigration process and the certification process, these are two completely separate things. So the immigration process, you do it with uh, Immigration Canada and it involves uh, getting your uh, papers, your education papers, equivalency, um, uh, so, uh, done with maybe World Education Services, getting all those papers done, but that is nothing to do with um, being certified. Being certified is a totally different process which you start with the Canadian Society for Medical Laboratory Science. So the process with them, uh, we can go through that for a different video, but in a summary it's um, all uh, started with them telling you to evaluate yourself through a com uh, competency profile. Once you do that, you open a profile with them and they get you uh, to send all your papers directly to them from your educational uh, institution, which is your university or your college where you took your uh, medical laboratory technology uh, course. 
where you got your diploma or your degree. So that being said, that CSMLS doesn't accept any paper directly from you. So that is the biggest hurdle that you will be getting. So if you are already here in Canada, you might have experienced it already. Like I said, I have a few friends myself that are were MLTs back home and are here working as medical lab tree assistants or either working in just any other job. And they are having so much difficulty getting back to their institution, getting back to their universities, because these people might have done these courses like five years or more back or even 10 years back and those people um, that they knew at university that could help them find their papers um, they are all gone or something like that so if you're back home just start the process and i'll be making a video to, um, a different video itself about the uh, starting the process if you're back home start the process now and if you're here already, then start it already and contact all your universities. It will, will be lengthy, but it is worthwhile. There are different papers that you will be needing and all it needs to do, you, all you need to do is get in contact, keep writing letters and emails. And once you get through that first step, getting your papers directly to CSMLS, then a lot of things will be easier. Now, after you've done that, there's a few steps where CSMLS will be evaluating your, um, your studies, your uh, courses, to see how they, um, they compare to the standard here in Canada. And uh, the reason they do this is that some of us did our courses way long back, some uh, things are updating every year, so they are just uh, wanting to know where you stand compared to what they're doing here right now. And that being said, after this, they'll be telling you so that maybe you need to do some, what they call refresher courses, or sometimes they call it a bridging course um, in so that you can actually bridge to their standard here in Canada. Now, some of us have maybe just one course as you know, the medical laboratory technology field in itself has a few different, uh, very, very vast fields. You have uh, biochemistry, hematology, microbiology, immunology, and CSMLS will be evaluating your courses and your clinical practice to see where you stand and tell you where you need to refresh, maybe in just one, in chemistry or even two, uh, maybe in chemistry and hematology. And from there, that's the easiest part, once all those papers are done, is to just go online. The CSMLS will be giving you a list of approved, um, approved colleges that are giving out these courses or either CSMLs themselves, they also give some courses. So then you can take some of these bridging or refresher courses with them. And from there, once you've done your courses, it depends, once again, it depends on you, how fast you're doing, uh, if you're also working at the same time, how you manage all of this. And once you do your courses, you, t you send your results to CSMLS and they tell you that you are now completed your uh, prior learning assessment is what they call it, the PLA uh, process. And once you've completed that, then they will be giving you the el eligibility for the exam. And that's the only when you'll be able to attempt the CSML exam, CSL CSMLS exam, sorry. Anyways, um, once you attempt that, if you pass, then you get to work. Uh, you get to go to uh, your provincial licensing body. Right now, I am in Saskatchewan, so my licensing body is the SSMLT. So they then you go through the process with them again, a different process. But once you have passed the exam with CSMLS, things are much easier 
when you go to your provincial um, body because they acknowledge that you have passed CSMLS and so they just get that paper from you that you actually passed and get a few um, different uh, documents from you and you will be licensed and once you're licensed then you can legally work as an MLT here. But all these processes depends will be different for each person. It will be different because some people may have only one uh, refresher course which may take three months or more. Some people may have two refresher courses might take six months or more depending on the person and some people had three so that is where uh, well um, it will be different for each person on how long the process the whole process will take and also now if you have already done everything and all of this you are now at the step where you are doing your refresher courses some of my friends already have done all this process and have just very refresher courses to do. Then the CSMLS gives you two years to complete those refresher courses. And a lot of my friends are, they don't know where to start. And that's where I will be doing um, a different video of how to really take it slowly and take it step one step at a time one uh, module at a time and things will get will be will be done whereas i know that some of them already working and they think oh we'll be doing it well, we'll do it soon we'll do it soon but they just get busy and things don't get done so that's where i'm here for i just want to motivate people out there motivate everyone that um thinks that thinks that maybe oh this might be too hard or but it can be done and also I want to talk to you about what to expect when you're an MLT because when I was doing my process I didn't know any person working at the hospital I didn't know how it was there I didn't know um, I didn't know any technologies myself so it was hard to understand their questions it was hard I tried to write letters to ask them for placement, but the placement here is only for their own students. So I know it can be hard to try to imagine how the process is here compared to what you have been work doing back home. So we can talk a little bit about that in the different processes, but I just wanted to make this introduction video because um, I know the new year is coming and people will have resolutions, starting new projects and thinking, is it worth it to come here? Is it worth it to become an MLT here in Canada? Or is it worth it to start again? Or does it take, how long does it take? How does it, how long does it really, really take? Or can I maybe, one question which we were asking ourselves when we were back home is, um, can we re maybe just work as medical laboratory assistants when we come here and then maybe later just do our studies. But what I have learned is that um, although medical laboratory assistant, MLA is what we talk, we call it here, uh, although it is not a licensed and not a certified job in itself, it is very hard to land a job as an MLA, as an international MLT. Although our education and our certificates um, are above the qualifications that are required to be an MLA, they, they will not really employ international MLTs as lab assistants everywhere. Some provinces do it, some uh, labs do it, but here in Saskatchewan, um, there's not a lot of MLAs that are um, international MLTs directly. If they are or MLAs, they actually go and do uh, the MLA course uh, before they get into that MLA job. 
and they work there. And then after that, they try to do the process with CSMLS and try to attempt their exam. So what I mean to say is being an international MLT doesn't mean that you can actually just come here and apply for an assistant medical laboratory assistant job and means that you will get it. It is very hard to get a medical laboratory assistant job as an international MLT here in Saskatchewan, and that's where I am. Uh, in different provinces, things might be different depending on uh, their laws and depending on um, the health region, uh, how they recruit, but that's how it is here. Anyways, I hope uh, this helped you. I hope you will stay tuned. I will, uh, the process is so lengthy and so detailed that um, it needs to be um, uh, explained in different videos uh, so that we can go in depth in all of it. And I hope that you will stay tuned and we'll go through it together. Thank you. Hope to see you soon. Bye.